Yeah, it's like the, the downward wave. The downward Brain wave. wave. Brain wave. Yes, that it is uh, exactly what it is, actually. I think we've nailed this opening. I think this is our best one yet. Vitality taken on Astralis in the third map. It's Dust 2. It's the old famous. It's Krusty Dusty. It's an El Clasico on an El Clasico. Yeah. It's, wow. the, it's the double. Do they cancel each other out? Do they multiply? I don't know. Let's listen to that beat drop as the pistol round is already underway. Woo! Right up catwalk here for the Frenchman. They're going fast and hard towards A to Vice. He's holding down the line from Long with a quick tap. Mizuta is gone. It's a flank from Apex, but oh, he only gets a dink on Device and then bailed out by S Tag in the pit. Don't know how he got so far, but not far enough. As the bomb gets planted, the Astralis are in for the retake. They need the high HP players to move in and pick up the pieces. Aww. They're doing exactly that. Device from a range with a second. Health doesn't matter, and Sharks needs help as Astralis run and gun him down. A pistol round goes their way. That's their first in the series. What do you know? Th that's their first in the series. <laughs> God, they really stole that one out, didn't they? Really took everything. their time to yeah. defuse that one. Everyone <laughs> is a PC50 somewhere. Let me grab it. It's the cat jam, really. It's what it is. What is the cat jam, baby? If you don't have to ask, you will oh, literally man, never know. All right. I, the Pickles or whatever her first name is. Angelica? Angelica Pickles. That's the one. I don't even know if she was a Pickles. I thought she was like the neighbor. But. No, dude. She was definitely a Pickles. Let's just take a dive. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. Rugrats now. Rugrats, of course. Smashing. Angelica Pickles. <laughs> Angelica Charlotte Pickles is the main antagonist in secondary. Would you say she's an antagonist? That's quite like a, oh, oh. device. He's the antagonist Hi. in this film. He's our Angelica Pickles. And here he is throwing these rug rats around like it's nothing. Device. Oh, well, what do you know? There's, I don't know what the other names of the rug rats were. Binky or something. Just gonna... Binky. I think maybe like Tommy. I, I know there was like Phil and Lil. There was Chucky. So I wasn't close, is what you were saying. Nah, just maybe, like, just a different cartoon. But you were close, I guess. Everybody knows what the cat jam is. I can't believe you would ask that. Anyway, here comes S-Tag. Peeking from the site, he's got that M4. Dude it up, but the swing from Glaive on the back of a flash. Really good stuff there. Really good tandem team play here inside of this site, but they're closing in. RPK finds Glaive and Goose. He's looking for S-Tag, hunting him down. S-Tag remains alive. Just Zywu, one on three. Got the bomb. He knows S tag's in the site somewhere. And S tag is fully exposed. Gives him the entire side. There's going to be a plant with an AK in, in Zywu's hands. Well, Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, they know. And Zywu knows as well. All right, here he is. Dropping down, Dupree Ooh. just about gets the better of him. The DPU is going to come on in. And Astralis, they yeah. narrowly lock in that second round. Also, I'm proud to announce that actually there was a Binky in Rugrats. So I nice. nailed Congratulations. it. Congratulations. Yeah. Good job, man. Thank you, man. Yep. Don't clap yourself up. Oh, Harry. wait. Yeah, let them... I need to fill out the room a bit more. There's yeah. three of us, all right? Please read the room next time. Yeah, Vitality oh, might force back in here, right? They get it. They make it a one on one with a second round buy, and they get a bomb on. Like, it's not like they're rich, but AK's available for sure. And they made Astralis hurt, they made them work for it. A little something off the back in there from Dupree. Just to grab the AK, of course. Making sure he's dead. And yeah, they buy up. Why wouldn't you? It's Dust 2. It's Vitality. Well, I was going to say their pick. It's not, but it's a map they're very comfortable with. And Apex on the scout. We talked about this earlier. Zywoo does not like scouts. He likes orbs. And so Apex takes this secondary sniper for his side. Shocks, he ran the AWP on Vertigo. So Zywoo has not really had much of a chance to show us who Zaiwu, who Zaihu really is. Zaihu? Regardless, we'll get that in this game. We'll get the answers that we've been waiting for. Device v Apex. Although Device is on long right now, so it's going to be Glaive v Apex. There's a shot. It goes both ways. Dupree's ready to swing middle or support Glaive if uh, Vitality do the same. Across his back left side. Dupree goes for a peek. Oh, more damage through the wall. Vitality, they're going for a fast cap, though. That nade's going to be a bit late. They're already up. They're already in. Device is going to have to put a stop to it, and he mm. cannot. Quick shot for Zaiwu looking clean in this map. And Vitality, they'll be allowed to plant. 
Just the right amount of crispy. Oh, shocks. Crisp as ever. You guys need to get that word out of my head. I've never used it either until just now. Zaiwu going to try and jump on over. And he will. Vitality looking on... on, on uh... Hang on a minute. Where was I going with that? Looking like they're going to get their first round on the board here. There we go. I knew it was something yeah, like it that. It was like right in the back. Yeah, yeah, it was right there on the tip of my tongue. And Dupree, well, down in CT. He's just trying to save. And... Take some down with him, like any good hero would. But ultimately, you know, you can take down as many as you like. Unless it was three and then you grab a defuse, this round's already sailed on past. Okay, so I've got the big question. Big what, question. What color is Dupree's room in the third map? We had Ooh. red for the first, we had blue for the second. What comes in in number three? Well, I mean, come on, man. Everybody knows it's probably going to be like green green now or it's not changed from blue that's really the only two options oh, oh my god boy oh boy oh dear <laughs> he's done it i've done it again he's how done it again the clairvoyant that is trey stutter sarantis wow. they are amazed by his ability to predict <laughs> the boys now, and turquoise apex with the scout down middle not able to find much outside of a glancing blow onto device he's still looking to deal damage downrange Oh dear, but you try and go back at Apex, he's still holding on to middle. Dupree will at least offer up a trade. Vitality in this four on four. Making more of an effort to accentuate my tease. Could uh, articulate them as well. You could cross them as well. There's a lot of options with those T's. Could even dot the I's, you never know. There's no I in T, but there's a T in trade. And I'm about to tell you how Mazuda is shooting Glaive in the face. Here comes S-Tag wrapping around. He's not going to be the only member of Astral. Oh, has something to say about this round. Okay. By himself, S-Tag eventually does fall. What was a no-scope headshot? E Crikey. Yeah, now Vitality. I mean, again, like, this is always a map you can, or always a team that you can rely to force. But uh, this might be where they call the bluff and, and start to go for some digs. We'll see. Some money's going to drip dry. Nope, they just throw AKs around, drop some deagles, buy some armor. It's Look a bit of a mess. Ball. It's a bit of a mix. But let's see what they can put together. When you've all had to stand around and spawn and like divvy everything out, that's how you know yeah. that you've made a big brain play. No, you take the AK. No, you take the AK. <laughs> no, no, I, I don't armor. have armor. Shocks don't, don't even have armor. He's like taking the AK, like, guys, I'll have it. And no. he hasn't. Oh, there's Masuta realizing now. Respect. Checked him and he's like, Shocks, I appreciate the, the slyness of this. But I'm not going to let it stand. Well, regardless, all this dilly dallying around in spawn for vitality is bought. Lots of time, or wasted lots of time. I was going to say bore time for Astralis, but they're just waiting. And you got to be careful about that dallying. If you're not dillying enough, if you start dallying, it's really <laughs> going to tip the scales. And you just, Ooh. you can't afford to do that. Speaking of scales being tipped, we're talking about five deep for Vitality towards the B side. Apex leading the charge with a scout. He's going to be that first point of contact, Ooh. and he's going to land his shot onto the Dupree. Just Magis now, he's got to run them down as they run towards him. The flash is good and RPK pops him. I say the flash is good, it's actually bad. It's Glaive who threw it in the first oh. place. Apex shoots him under the smoke and that really just fell apart for Astralis. Magis could have got a multi-kill there if it was not for his teammate's flash. Unfortunate stuff. It's going to leave Astralis uh, not retaking this round, instead saving. And hey, the buy for Vitality. As messy as it was, as long as it took, the results are there. Five alive and guns on everyone as well as they get out of there. No hunting for Astralis. So Vitality reap the reward up to two. Here's Vitality picking up that two. You're right. But can they carry it over and make it a three? Wow. Those are the hard-hitting questions that we all want to know the answer to. Somebody wants that was a That was a very convincing force buy from Vitality. Like, you think about how that round started, right? And they're, like, throwing guns around in spawn. No one really knows what's happening. And, and then this scout just comes in. 
Big energy on Apex to open up with two. I will say, Shox feels like the perfect teammate to have. He's always trying to pump everyone up. Like we've spoke, I feel like I feel like we're best friends with Shox and Apex. We hang out like, with how them often we've days. spoken to them here. Um, and Shox, he's always got such a positive energy around him. You know, and that that can go a long way, especially in long series like this one. S tag running in through the smoke, good for one. One of the two rifles present in this round, and he's already made quick work of Apex. The first man in for Vitality. Dupree down with another. And so the number's dwindling now for the Frenchman. Shox is trapped out here at long, and that could cause him some problems as S-Tag is still with his eyes on the smoke. Oh, Shox gets caught trying to leave. Low almost saves him. Device through the smoke. Finds a gap as he often does. And Mazuta's going to try and trade on the chase. Oh, he does get one. But CZ on the site should deny the plant if S Tag doesn't on long. It's a double peak. The timing is bad. And S Tag is going to close it. Astralis keep up with four, three for S Tag. And was that that moment that Mazuta knew that he forked up? Yeah. Brought a spoon to a knife fight, Trace. Yeah, you definitely need a fork at least for those fights, so... At minimum. Uh, Astralis up to four here on the CT side. Competitive back and forth start. As we kind of expected on this map, it's looking Ooh. like Astralis have brought back their game. Vertigo was a no-go. Dust 2, a lot better affair. Fast that long for Zaiwu. Oh dear, he's been spotted. s tag flash through, gets them both. Lovely long hold for Astralis. Three players deep, and they even put him in the pit as well as Vitality. Surely they don't want to go back to it. I mean, they've got nothing else. A smoke and a flash on RPK, but that molly, yeah, that will be enough to keep Vitality out of this position. Elsewhere they go, maybe hoping to crunch B as three, but good luck. I mean, they've started this round off in a deficit, right? Bomb looking towards B site, just haul and tail towards the halls. The upper area, I should call it. I don't want to offend anyone. And that's the thing. For Vitality, it's very, very hard to get back into these situations, especially when you're in this kind of awkward limbo of a three on five. You tried to get out long and it didn't work. Because now it's like, what else do you have to fall back on? You have to... Well, all right. <laughs> yep. Eventually, right. it was going to land. Yeah, it had to happen eventually, right? And so, when eventually rolls around, there it is. Masuta and Shox, two Galils, the baby brother to the AK. And... Oh. Masuta actually able to win that out. Now, there is a timing where Shox could deal with a man like Device and then maybe get this bomb down. He's closing the gap. The flash is good. And Device is looking to just hound him down. Masuta does come in with a trade, but with so little time, he needs to be on that bomb right now. Nope. And he's not on the bomb right now. So that's the round over and done with. He might even... He's dead off time. There it is. Dupree arriving on the catwalk. And... That's an even bitter, bigger middle finger than Dupree could ever give. Taking someone down after time, wrecking the money of Vitality. And if you're RPK, it's a really sad round. Like you're upset, but also you have to be understanding. I guess. Not a good time. Astralis up to five. Yeah, broke for Vitality. Finally, pistols, right? They've been piecing together buys when they can, whatever they can, on whoever will take it, but now it's on P250s. And so fast cat or a B rush are really your best options in a round like this. I'm gonna try and fly through mid. Dupree is here, double setup for Astralis. They know what they're up against and they will have no issue dealing with it. Shox does kill Glaive, Deagle out. Dupree, desperation, but now mid's open. The two guns to be grabbed. Apex can get one and scurry away. Magis was holding on to the M4, but he needs to go back to B in case they wrap through the tunnels. Vitality spreading out to see for aggressive CTs. There are none. Astralis. Sending one back towards long, making sure the orb has that on lockdown. And Shox, he has a long route out of B if he wants to go through the T-spawn, so... Vice switches it up over to the car with the AWP. And he's going to have that catwalk hold. He's, you know, as of right now, he's right. And here we go. Still plenty of time. They're going to do something crazy right here. Let's find out. Zaiwu lives to tell the tale. And lives again the second time around. This guy's got a trilogy almost, but no, the third one does not go down a hit. It's Device 
inhaling him. Shocks. Oh, little quick tap with the P250. But still, you're asking this guy to 1v2. And 1v2 S tag and device, no less. It's not going to be easy. When's life ever been easy for Shocks? He's coming down into mid. 25 seconds on the clock. Device is just homed in. Shocks fake flashes the first time around. I don't know if it was intentional. Did he see the man close? I, I think it. he did, right? He must have. He shocks. Uh, the aim punch sends his aim to the sky. Vitality, they fall a little short in that round there. Obviously, it is just an eco from them. And Astralis continue building upon their lead. Yeah, because he threw that nade, it's quick switched, and it, it still makes the sound. S tag actually turned and looks away, right? Device probably had his cover regardless, committed to the bitter end, but... That's uh, that's also a good tip, right? Like, yeah. to... Th to th ooh, ooh, ooh. Fake a flash. <laughs> Throw those <laughs> fake flashes. There you go. That's yeah, a bit of a tongue go. twister. If you uh, pull the pin on a nade and then immediately change weapon, that's how you fake the noise, because otherwise they don't hear it. If you just, like, do it normally. It has to be fast. That's a little tip for anyone I'm watching at home. Is that a future pro tip or that's, just like a Harry Russell? Tip? That's a that's a Russell tip right there. You know, watch out for the tip of Russell from Russeldorf. Russeldorf, yes. Harry Russeldorf, not far from, from where we are. Gossip Girl. Yes. Run down in middle was shocks. Attempted trade coming in from T-Spawn, but Apex can't hit the shot as Astralis escape. Oh dear, that's a great kill for Zaiwu, dropping S tag in A. And Magis making his tunnel presence very much known as well. Apex is ready for it, but Magis hits the shot. And now going back towards A of Vitality, they lose their B lurk. Astralis flashing Glaive in front of the smoke. Oh dear, he gets the info. He sees the bomb. That's enough for Astralis to fully call for rotations. But Zaiwu crossing at the car. Dupree with a nade onto the site. Won't kill anyone at this rate, but does take good damage. Oh. Sick one as well. Down to five on RPK. Zaiwu waiting for the spray, and he gets what he got. He gets what he wants. Traded though by Dupree. The bomb planted late. Mizuta puts in those numbers. And Magis up from the cat. In this retake, RPK is so low, but he hits the immediate headshot. Magis' spray oh, no. was all over the place, and Dupree, Dupree might have to save as RPK is low, but that might tempt him back what? in. That's a quick peek happening? off the back of the plant, and RPK is low. He's a shot away from death. RPK's 5 HP. This Molotov could end it all, but RPK is oh, no. peeking, and there he is, the tank mm. from inside of the site. Three in the round at 5 HP. Yeah, and you, you would have thought right there. You look at the situation, like, surely Dupree does Dupre, and he gets that win at the end of the day, but that's just not how it all shapes up. And well, for Astralis, sure, it's a third ma or excuse me, third round on the board for Vitality, but Astralis seem confident still. Oh, look at these fan cams. Hey man, nice truck. I don't know what's in the back of it. Can't really see it, and I'm gonna leave it that way. But you can be on the fan cams too. That's gonna be www.esl.gg slash fan cam. <laughs> Eco for Astralis device with the CZ, but it's gone as soon as you want. Zaiwu with a quick shot up mid, and even with the smoke down, Shox is getting dinked through it. Glaive is pushed long. Astralis is throwing whatever they can into the bucket. Vitality, they're sipping. As everyone knows, sipping straight from the bucket. Not only is the flavor more pure, but a more intense... Uh... <laughs> Level of drowning, I suppose, is possible if you drink from a bucket. Wow, yeah. I never thought about it like that, but now that I have, like, it all just feels so clear to me. How can you drown? Just Why does drinking? Dupree only use guns that have little faces on the back of them? He does it with the Tech 9 too. Ooh. Well, that's a cool skin. Haven't you seen that? There's the, the one for the Tech is called, like, Brother or something like that. I swear. I swear that's the name of it. Or, like, e Brother. Brother. <laughs> <laughs> Very out of sync with Pretty bad is. karaoke. Dupree's got the little man looking at him. And Oh, don't call Apex that. <laughs> yeah, what? Big boy. <laughs> All right, Hugo, man. You can't do that joke twice in one season of Pro League. I definitely can. You yeah, definitely you, can. You have, but it's been about French people the whole time. So really, I have to ask you, Hugo, what is it against the French? That I don't you remember have? the first time I made that joke. Uh, it it's was about Kenny. It was about Kenny. So, well, if you called him something rude, I'm going to defend him. You know, no one called him <laughs> something rude. Of course, I don't just know. questioning what was on his own desk at that Harry, point. The little man Russell. <laughs> Harry, the little oh, man in the boat. Accusations. Russell. Sip, sipping from the bucket. 
Zipping from the bucket. I saw a few too many drinks from the bucket deep right now as we get ready. Oh, it's a technical pause, isn't it? Here it is. The moment we've all been waiting for. (laughs) Oh, dear. Right. So let's take stock of what we've seen so far anyway. Let's do that. Yeah. Right, we've 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 had a nice run from Astralis. They found themselves six two up. It was looking real good, but then Vitality they came along and they said, actually, you know what? None of that. And now they're the ones back in control. Now the money. This is something that actually decides a lot at this juncture in the game. That's going to facilitate this entire Vitality comeback if they are able to get a hold of it. You know, Astralis they've got to buy here, but they don't have one in the future but, if it all falls short. But Harry. During the process of, you know, explaining that, I I just feel like the audience should know that you had your tennis shoe in your hand the entire time. But the gross part is your hand was on the bottom of the tennis shoe. Is that? That's unforgivable. Is that that bad? I was was just undoing the laces so I could put it on. Not necessarily known as a shoey, but, you know, it's... Like an ooey. Yeah, it's definitely an ooey. Not an ooey, but an ewey. But a pause. That is correct of the tactical, or not even tactical, the technical variety. And it would appear as though there is a French man who needs to restart his internet. And these things do happen. Everyone just taking a chill pill for what is the third map in a series that, all things considered, is a bit of an endurance test. Yeah, 1610 for Astralis over on Nuke. Vitality respond with the ever awaited vertigo with a 16-9. 11 full first half. They were very dominant back there as well. But now it all culminates. And really, who knows where this one's going, right? Astralis with some early rounds. Vitality unable to get two together until the last two. They finally find a couple and control their money for the meantime. But Astralis coming back in with a big old buy, including the AWP as well. And we're really yet to see Zaiwu wield this weapon much in the series at all. He had it a couple of times on Nuke. He was shut out by and large. He didn't play it on Vertigo. It was shocks getting opening kills with that weapon. And now we've had it for a couple of rounds for Zaiwu here, but not against the big guns of Device. Yeah, and for someone like Harry, I just, you know, the only advice I have for him would be like, put your glaives on next time. Was that meant to be gloves? Yes, but also glaive because... Oh, because... <laughs> Because <laughs> he plays for Astralis, I get that. Nice. Oh, man, that was good. All right, all right. So we're setting the bar pretty high for comedy. That's, <laughs> that's apparent right out of the gate. I you mean, know what you're tuning in for. Almost it's as high as Adam Sandler. humor. Yeah, high as Adam Sandler. That's where I aim for. Well, he's a multi-millionaire, so who's laughing now? Yeah, I'm but falling short, you know. His, his gyms, they're uncut. Gotta be. Yeah, I know that's a reference to that film that I didn't watch. Of course. But it's actually, you know... You know, as someone that grew up watching Adam Sandler films, it's actually a pretty good film. Yeah. What's but your favorite Adam Sandler film and why is oh, it Click? It's not Click. <laughs> well, I mean, the Click at the end where he like kind of raises his finger up at the guy. Oh, no spoilers. Yeah. Well, there's no real spoiler there. I, I would have to probably side with like, I mean, water I just, boy? I, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's what I was going to say is like the water boy is, you know, kind of like a synopsis of my life, but with esports and without being good at the sport. So. Were you much of a football player when you were younger, Trace? No. But I mean, like the American one where it's rugby. <laughs> well, it's not. Te- I, no, I wasn't much, but, you know, I, I've watched a football game or several dozen. Nice, man. Uh, several dozen hundred, maybe. Several dozen hundreds. Get the calculators out for that one. <laughs> well, we're just taking you all on a scenic tour of a map that you all know inside and out. So this is a little area called T-Ramp. You ever oh. been here? Yeah, but you know, whenever I, really I play free for all, I just stay worst, here. I just the kill worst everyone. Worst place on deathmatch, I think. No, I think place. holding in the back of B site is. Yeah, yeah. but also I'll happy also Gilmore. Do that. Happy Gilmore. That's my and favorite spot Gilmore. on dust, man. Yeah, that where, where right next that to at? Gandalf. It's like oh. when you hide in the corner, you're in Happy Gilmore. I forgot that Adam Sandler was in Lord of the Rings. That really was the weird sort of addition I didn't expect to see. I know when he came out as playing Aragorn, dude, I was speechless. That was nuts. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That we all crazy. remember that bit. Wow. Couldn't believe that some of y'all slept on Adam Sandler like that. We're just waiting to get back into the game, ladies and gentlemen. And it's a player that I suppose I can 
Just yeah, just name. Uh, just just name. Name. I will say, you know, we had a player reset the router, and funnily enough, that's exactly what happened to Stown the other day, if you remember that tic-tac-toe matchup. Yeah. He reset his router, and well, it didn't turn back on. There's, there's a football here on Dust. Okay. So if maybe the on-pause ever comes in, we get a game of football going. Now, that's where we get excited, because, you know, the Danes, they're, they're all about handball as well as football, ah. so they're good with, like, both, whereas Vitality, they're more looking just at, just at football, I reckon. You I don't think, know how big handball is in France. I don't, yeah, I don't know. Well, I mean, I, it's got to be like the size of your hand, right? I, if I had to guess. <laughs> <laughs> we'll throw this over to Hugo, our resident handball expert. Hugo, take yeah. us away. Uh, you throw it. Uh, someone I don't catches know. it. Is it throwing? Is that it? I thought it was more like... Uh, like. Well, I don't know. Are you going to trust the expert <laughs> or not? Right. Right. Here, we here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, here it is. Zoom in. Now, obviously, it's been a rough day for the internet. Everyone knows that. Oh, has, oh, it's got the CSGO logo on it. Yeah, that. CSGO on the ball. That's Maybe, really cool. Does it? Yeah, on the top. Can we can we get that? Maybe wow. this is what happens when I you, didn't know that. I learned the something. Game, you run the game at a better you know, like you know settings and quality. Oh yeah, yeah, like, yeah. We certainly don't do that. No, no one, no one who wants to be good at Look CS at that man. That's like 4K. This is so HD. My mind is blowing. Wow, Harry, just relax. Maybe sit down. Take a minute. <sighs> Sorry, I get very excited. You, we might be taking a minute here in a second. Again, the internet, not the friendliest of foes. Oh, Ooh, there's Ooh, valve at on the bottom. More uh, Easter eggs. Things you never knew. Wow. That's something. So, like, who are Valve? <laughs> so, <laughs> this little company, and they, like, you know, they made Counter-Strike. Oh, that's cool. offensive. Uh, yeah, it could save. I want to make sure I covered all my bases for someone gets... Kind of pissed off for no reason, like usual. And internet now. Internet, of course. Holding fast. We're approaching the witching hour. It's about 12.33 here. Midday. Um, it's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's midnight. That's the joke. <laughs> Thanks, wow. Harry. Harry, <laughs> punchline punch Russell. <laughs> <laughs> I will explain every joke if I have to. Well, okay. That's why I'm here. Well, fair enough. Um, just waiting on that internet to be restarted from the French side. <laughs> that's really what brings oh. us to this sort of strange pause that we have on yeah. here. Yeah, even. There, there's plenty to talk about, but really and truly, I think the music should do the talking. So we're going to go to a quick break, and maybe it'll be quick, but maybe we won't. Who knows? We'll be right back. Or oh, not. Yeah. 
mirror I hurt myself today trying to make the pain go away Sarah I want to fade away be with the stars in outer space You come and you go You take me high, you take me low But I don't know how to do this on my own anymore Oh no Now it's Mali for the melancholy Cody fill a hole inside me Damned if I do, damned if I don't Now it's the Zannies till I know my psyche Cocaine just to feel my heartbeat Nothing to lose, nothing to gain y'all really can't get enough of it you know you can't you love every second of it but guess what she gone and moreover well that's the end of that sarah we're gonna turn her right off we're gonna get right back into the action thank goodness gracious it's time to see what dupree and the awp can do glaive though not having the best goes of it so they're gonna drop him the ump meanwhile 5v5 we look at six to four welcome back to the SL pro league season 12 with harry hugo and trace and uh i am the latter and I don't mean that in any sense that you could climb all over me. Well, indeed. It's going to be shocks down here in the bottom of mid, and he's got teammates alongside him. Vitality. Poised to split this B bomb site at the slightest sign of trouble. Ah, yes, trouble. Shoxy's going to start to worm his way up Catwalk. Flash provided by Apex. Going to allow him this real estate. Man, looking to take out a mortgage soon over towards... Oh, oh Glaive. UMP out as he runs in, throwing utility. And that'll be him just demolished. This B site is overrun with Frenchman. And the Astralis squad are nowhere to be found. Inferno strikes again, Harry. I'm not just talking. What they call it. Yeah, it's the save for Astralis. <laughs> Nothing they can do but run for the hills and then wait in the hills. Yes, but the hills might have eyes, especially if you're as close as these two teams are right here towards Long A. Save on the cards for Astralis, but no one wants to tempt fate and go check pit. That's for sure. It's nice to see. A lot of people didn't know that the football had the logos on it either. Oh. So I'm glad that we weren't alone in that. I imagine it is a setting thing. It has to be. It's got to be. I don't know, man. Maybe just people, are, you know, like they're just pushing the football around. No one's yeah. like going up and like oh, inspecting. Let's have a look at this the... one then. Okay, black, then white, then You know black, what would be cool white. though? Is if those same folks, and albeit one of them, at least one of you out there, has the Photoshop skills for it. I want you to make an ESL Pro League football, or as I would commonly call it, a soccer ball. But you get the rhythm, you get the rhyme. So let's get on up. It's Counter-Strike time. <laughs> the save is successful for Astralis, but they will not buy heavily behind it. It's just pistols and a Zeus on Glaive. I like that. Zeus. Vice just flashed to no end. It's going to be Dupree that finds a contact on Cat. Takes down OPK. Shocks. Ooh. Good for two. And he started to turn this one around. This is going to create quite the big problem for Glaive, who's been caught out in the open. Trowel dropped and caught red-handed. One and ten as well. Glaive's having a bit of a bit of start to this matchup. And, oh, Device trading wow. onto Shocks, But it won't matter. All it's done is alert Vitality as to his position. But he's already changed that up pretty quickly. Run back towards Spawn. Apex is hard flanking, fast behind. But he doesn't know if it's B or T. And so he will pick the correct option. Device 
He is right behind you. The jump. That's all the info Apex needs and device isn't even considering how close he could really be. Oh boy. Here we Bye. go. Bye. Click. And a hit. By the way, if you do create one of those footballs, you need to just go ahead and use hashtag ESL Pro League because obviously no one's going to see it otherwise. I hate wow. to tell you. I hate to let you know like that, but it is what it is. Big round for Vitality, though. They remove that, you know, decent save for Astralis with some weapons behind it. Now it's 6-6, six, six, and they're going in with a big buy device on the AWP. Haven't seen that head-to-head -head between him and Zywoo a whole lot. The Zeus has flashed that long, going quick as well. Four here for Astralis, gambling with a solo B. They've lost B in the past, but... That's not the objective right now. Mazuta trading one for one. Device slow oh. to react, but he does get the shot off. Shock's gone, and Vitality might just bail quick into a mid to B. Looks like the right call. Only Dupree here, but the smoke is not down, and Device takes one with him. Glaive another. Apex backup cat into the orb again, and that's what you like to see from Device. Three kills on the AWP. No armor, no problem. Astralis up to seven. And it's worth mentioning that S-Tag has been an absolute monster over at Long. Like, he is the difference maker right now for Astralis at that side of the map. You know, you think about how this game was looking like it could have tended to early on with Vitality just owning that Long control. And since S-Tag has appeared on the scene, they have not been able to survive that journey. So a lot of credit's got to go his way. There are still rifles in play here for Vitality. That's one of the upsides of having all this money in your bank account. And now a fast B play, Dupree fully blind. P2 chips down another, and S-Tag's Molly gonna burn out RPK from beyond the grave. And already Astralis have got three players in B. Zaiwu looking to make a difference, looking to make something happen for Vitality. Dupree goes up and over though, and is quicker off the mark. This leaves Apex and Masuta falling back into an A play. But to get to A, you gotta get past Device. And this guy, not easy to get past. Oh, even with the flash, he hits a leg shot. Apex low and uh, softens him up for the rifles that are moving in, Glaive included. Flashing back forward, Device, another shot, but he kills the man with full HP, already making his job pretty easy, and Device makes it look so. Eight rounds off the back of the AWP once again. Dupree with a double on the B-hold, and that's all you need to see and say. Astralis, they won the half, but how hard have they won it is the question. Eight, seven, nine, six. So those are the options as Vitality have money for the last round of the half. I think Orp got dropped over there as well. Yeah, it's on the floor right in front of us for us all to see. And Zaiwu to take. Psych, it's Apex. Like we all expected. He's got the long spawn though, and he'll be flashed out fast. Glaive. Oh, did that look dead on, but the Molly's going to burn him out as he gets taken down. Great start. It's like, hey man, thanks for the art though. Yoink. I love the double nades that go in immediately after as well, knowing that probably someone was nearby to retrieve that orb. So that's Zywu brought down to half health on the back of it. Vitality, they don't want to have their explosive kind of half recovery that they went on winning those four rounds back to back, only to get cancelled out and just go out in a bit of a fizzle at the very, very end. So hoping to finish strong here. Our vitality. But a man down. They've not made it easy on themselves. Get a setup outside of B. Now, do you bear in mind that Dupree is here with that secondary orb? And he's a pretty scary dude to run into. Especially when he's all angry after Vertigo even appeared in this series. He's pretty scary enough when he's feeling nice. Molotov reigns in. What? Dupree, there's two now, and that is asking a lot for him to survive it. But Glaive holds on to Long and rides the wrongs of Astralis, leaving them in quite the advantage. The bomb spotted crossing mid, and Magis there to mop it up and put Vitality to bed. 9-6 at the end of the first half of play. But guess what? There's still more CS to come. A second half, that's right. It's first to 16. Vitality slightly behind Astralis. Can they pull it back, or does Dust2 go the way of the Danes?
Bit of a teaser there all for you, but that's all because we're going into the second half of play here in Vitality. Look to hold on. We got a 9-6 score line, a, a very, very sombering score line if you are a Vitality fan because this series has taken some time to get to this point. Astralis now with a lead. Welcome back to the Pro League Season of 12. Not even going to introduce these other dudes because you know who they are. But sure, whatever. Harry Hugo and that other dude, the Kona guy. Stuna! Stuna. Oh, oh. Big shots from Long. Oh, RPK tries and tries again, but there's no shots that are going to land him in his success. In fact, now look at him crab walking up yeah. Long with their backs turned. You got to respect the play. Yeah, Device and Dupree, couple of crabs clawing their way into this A bomb site. And Dupree, oh, Citizen Snips inside of the site. Device. Crap walked his way here, and as a result, no one's ready oh. for it. It's an official licensed tactic by Astralis. The crab walk up long, the wrap around into the site, and no one's even looking at you because you're a little crustacean. Yeah, man. I don't know, man. I'll be honest. In Green Hell, I'm over there stabbing them crabs real quick. But anyway, needs to about what expand I do. on that. That's a game, by the way. Green Hell. <laughs> yeah, I'm in Green crazy. Hell. I'm stabbing the crabs all day. Anyway, back to <laughs> us two now. No, I mean, it is a game. You're right. I should probably mention that. Either way, it I looks do. like a heavy mid presence here from the side of Vitality just to kind of attempt to keep us on path for what is Astralis. Now securing a pistol round and looking to get the following. Magis with the scout. He's tagged both these scouts on the CT side and they're walking into Glaive. They're jumping into Glaive. Ooh, RPK ducks Yikes. below. The crab walk again saves. Well, this time it's Vitality. The trade up in upper B, but Astralis, they've got long instead. Scout here for Zaiwu. Half health already. That smoke. Right by his teammate and loses his vision. He's going to go above it. Look for the shot on Platt. Astralis are not rushing, though. I know they've lost upper B, so it's likely Vitality have aggressed and or therefore stacked the A site, both of which are true. Two here. One still considering B. The Shox is pushed up on the long flank to come in at the right time. If he gets the timing right, S-Tag is holding on for it, though. Flash forward for Zaiwu. He's going to go for the scout shot onto Magis. Oh. Not connecting. Uh, Magis taking him down. S-Tag still looking at the long flank. He's just turned around through the smoke. RBK traded. S-Tag turn, uh, turns and dies to the Deagle of Shocks. And Device is to chase down Apex with a jump shot. Not today. As Shoxy comes back up from Catwalk late. Magis is already at long. He knows this isn't likely. And therefore, Shocks can only be in one spot. Device gets that info. And Shocks won't be getting the fight Ooh, that he wants. Nice that tag. Dink. Through the wall as well. But he's got to get them both. And Device repeaks. Or well, not really. He just shoots them back through the wall. Yeah, Device is having a very good game. I don't like the way Device looks. If I was against him, I'd be hating life right now. And are you saying you don't like Tom Hanks? Tom Hanks. I prefer uh... yeah, Tom Hanks. He's pretty good. Safe play. That's the one from Forrest Gump, right? Yeah, man. Um, and the one that plays for Astralis. They're like one and the same at that yeah. point. Well, some have called you the Forrest Gump of esports, Trace. And you know how that was received? Well, or... Yeah, not bad. It was a pretty stand-up dude. So anyway, yet again, pistols for Vitality. It's not as if... Got a whole lot to show right here. Vice is using a Glock, obviously. Why not? Screw it. It's good fun, and you're not up against much anyway. Oh, boy. Shocks making it interesting. Okay. He's got two. There's a gun dropped at top of mid, and the bomb is at long as well. If Shocks fast flanks, he might get there oh before Magis. This could get dicey. He's got a molly and a smoke, and there it is. The moment of realization. Does he drop the util or wait for the fight, hoping they don't know that he's here? Oh, dear. Oh, Could get no. the worst of timings. Matt just walks through as a molly pops, and Astralis will take you, it. Great try for shot. You could feel it was going to happen, couldn't yeah. you, right? Holds the angle up until the one moment he needs to be holding the angle after such a good display on the P250. Ooh. And that's a, yeah, that's a little bit grim. But regardless, you know, two players survive, and suddenly for Vitality, they're, uh, they're feeling pretty good. Now they, they bring the money down. They bring Astralis back to Earth. Now that you've got them here, you've got to long this map out. Little 360 from Magisk. Style points. Maximum level as he tries to spam Zaiwu through the smoke. 
Oh, now PK going to catch the bullet instead. And so the man advantage taken immediately for the Danes. Yeah, and you can tell just how cautious they are around that smoke. Just in case Vitality reemerges itself from this long A crevice. Zaiwu at the car is going to take down Majesk, who hung out just a little bit too long at the party. Ooh. A shot from device two. It was shocks. It was crossing over towards B. This bomb is in the B tunnel so far, and Mizuta takes down S tag. That was the escort. Dupree though, is able to catch a flank or uh, excuse me, a rotation. Yeah, it's a great escape from Dupree. They heard these rotations through CT, and so they know the vitality are lax on the A defense. Glaive goes back to long, assuming Zaiwu is no, no longer here. He's at the car instead. Ooh. Glaive beats him to the punch, and now the cat play comes through. Dupree getting out of mid is worth its weight in gold as he now brings the bomb to the site, and Shox has got to fight tooth and nail for it. Flank up on cat from Mizuta. Jump shot for Shox, drawing their attention in. Trying to set Mizuta up here, but he's going to miss his shot, and all followed up. Drop mm. Dupree will save the day, and Glaive can grab the AWP from the body of his teammate, Astralis, 13 to 6. To and Shox is still so quick with it. It's pretty wild to watch because you think some of those shots, you know, how close are they to connecting? Wild scenes. Yeah, but for French fans all around the world, this is uh, the check-in opening for Heartbreak Hotel. There's no money left on the, uh, the side of Vitality. They go for a partial investment, but this could give 14 over to the Danes. It down mid device. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Dupree holding the short push. Mm. Let's get bested by Zaiwu's P250. Well, now into this four on four. Astralis just taking this round very, very slowly. You know, they know it's Vitality who have all the pressure on them right now. And Suit is going to, I was going to say, maybe get ahead of that smoke, but decides against it. That's definitely the safe play there. Apex spotted back in the A site, but still no clear indication of where this is hoping to end up. I'm imagining it's going to be the A play, right? With Long and Cap both taken, with Glaive dumping utility into the B site to keep players there. But one of the advantage of this slow pace and just like this kind of creeping map control from Astralis is that they can end up anywhere based on where the success comes in. And it comes in over in middle. That might spur on this B play, especially because they see Shocks with that scout down in mid and he gets made quick work up. So into the B site, site they go remembering that bomb the one important the one thing they had to remember they go back they grab it and for vitality this might just have to be a save and you're running out of save rounds at that i mean this is going to put a 14 on the board for astralis to the six of vitality not optimal for the french side Quite the recovery from Glaive. He was 1 and 10 in this map. He's now 9 and 12. Like, that's crazy. That's a great resurgence from this dude. Make that 10 and 12. I spoke too soon. It's Astralis on 14 as all the exits are cleaned up. It's not like Vitality was saving a lot then, right? They're, they're going to be able to buy here. And this will be what could be their last buy. No CT rounds uh, yet in this game for Vitality. They lose both pistols in this map. The first two pistols they've lost in the series, and that really has spelt disaster for them, as no forces were found off the back of that. Here it is. Do or die time for Vitality. Zaiwu on the AWP. Shox will join him. Zaiwu back at the A site, lining up flashes for the long control, but they already get caught, but just runs to this back turn. Shox will get a kill in middle. Meanwhile, but Magis doubled down on the long position. More flashes come through, and even though they're good, there's no one to pounce upon them. Zaiwu still back in the site, and Shox dueling middle. Glaive, right. careful there, does dodge his shot, spots two. Oh my, can he at least take one with him, or is he going to die to the orb? There's just so many shots rallying off, and finally both the orbs find a kill apiece. Zaiwu and Shox taking back the advantage for Vitality. And you're up 14-6. You go for those peaks. You go for those fights. You think, you know what? Surely it's going to be fine. But there's no Shirley in the building. There's not even a Sarah around here. One on three, Estag finds himself in a difficult situation, to say the very least. He's waiting for a flash that's just not arriving. Could arrive, though. Masuta does have one. He's up on the catwalk. Oh. S-Tag scavenged some smokes, but even then, dropping two has still left a big gap in it. He's got to go back to Zonic's utility school, I think. <laughs> yeah, is that next door to Posh's London, uh, London school? Yeah. 
Same building, in fact. Cheaper uh, if they did it together. Well, it would make sense, you know? I mean, fiscally responsible. That's what we're looking at here. And if you're a strawless, you've been fiscally responsible, so you have tons of money. You can expend that money in this round. What do they call them? Gun buys, I think, right? Yes, gun bison. Okay. No bison's in play just yet. Still on the AKs. Straw is not making a mockery of Vitality just yet. They put up a respectable round. Finally found, nice. but Mizuta dropped through this smoke in the mid doors. Device starts us off strong, and Dupree actually just bails out along as a result. They know the B is going to be weak. There's only one man here. It's Shox, and he might be calling for help. Apex is dead in mid. Shox needs to hit this shot, and he does, but flashed off immediately after. Magis bails with the bomb. He doesn't want to go down alone against one of these two AWPs, but there's more where that came from. An RPK aggresses further. He's been caught and dealt with. Device with the shot. Zaiwu in middle, and oh, he sees one go long. That's the info, but the info might not matter. He needs to stop the bomb, and he's seen it. Trapped. Magis throws it up, and he's dying. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> I like the attempt, but it might cost Astralis. They're coming in on a B-Rap, though. Zywu's taking control, and he's been loud about it. Device knows what to expect. It's all on Dupree here. Uh, despite his low HP, him and Glaive are going to meet up in the middle and try and outflank this defense. And we just got the idea, or rather the sight, that one is heading towards long in the form of Zywu. Now, that's going to put shocks in a lower, but this bomb is down in one of the worst possible places you could probably get it. And surely... If you're Vitality, you're looking at this, you're like, yeah, all right, well, what are you going to do now? What's the big game plan, Astralis, big brains? Oh, Sai oh. Woo, so damn quick. Into the two-on-two. -two. This was 2v4 for Sai Woo and Shocks. And now they've oh. caught Dupree down in middle. It falls onto Device. It is AWP on AWP. Shox has retrieved an AK as well. Bomb goes down inside of the A site. Shox arrives and it's like, it's gone. And now they hear that it's planted. They know they've got to get a move on. So in they come, up through Catwalk. Device, he's been having a very good game thus far, but he needs to keep that up now more than ever. Both Zywu and Shox dropping these orbs in favor of the rifles, and they jump across. <laughs> Zywu nails the shot. And there's going to be time to retrieve these orbs as well for Vitality. Eight now on the board. And Astralis, they had that one in the bag. Yeah. That's cheeky for Magis, right? Like, I like the idea, but he has to jump to throw the bomb on Cat. Like, what did you think was going to happen? Immediately killed. If the bomb made it, that would have been one thing, but, like, it's not like Astralis even went back for the quick plant. They, they just tried to take the fight to middle, and Zywu aggressing on long. Glaive knew about it. He just read the timing wrong, and Zywu was deeper than he thought. He tried to pre-aim the, the middle door, and ah, Zywu was wide. Hit a great flick. And Vitality, two rounds in a row, okay? Like, you know, again, this is a position Astralis were in on Vertigo, up against 14 or 15. You know, you, you don't want to count them out, but it's just such a long climb back into this match. We really can't, you know, believe it's going to happen until it already is around the corner. And when you say it like that, Hugo, <laughs> that's when I know. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know. I just, yeah, Astralis, they they, sh they should close this, is what all logic says here. But not in this round, not today, as Vitality have guns versus pistols. You do the maths, it's pretty quick. Yeah, pistols are guns as well, so it's a little bit misleading. But uh, I guess the bigger guns winning the smaller round there for the side of Vitality. I mean, uh, against 14, every round is a big round. That's true, no Hugo, the that's size right. Of the guns. But I mean... Okay, so... Oh, big no. Big guns. It's a big round. I mean, I'm, j I'm just thinking about this whole, like, dilemma. Like, we're calling it guns, but... Something the military taught me, weirdly enough, was that they're weapons because they're tools. Which is creepy, but here we are nonetheless. Right. They've got the tools that they need in this round for Astralis. Not a whole lot of utility to run off of. Four smokes deep and two Molotovs. We'll just negate the flash there on S-Tag. This is huge. Apex has pushed lower. He knows it's not B. And that leaves one sight in this game that we call CSGO. Funny that. It'd be an A play. And at Vitality, they've already got a lot of bodies here to hold down the fort. Astralis don't know it, but they are walking into a stack. Vitality have all the information in the world right now, and then some. So can Astralis break past this four-man hold inside the A site? It would be a testament if they are able to take map and series point in this fashion. But it's not going to be easy. Vitality actually going to lose RPK. Astralis, they do cross into the site. The mollies, the nades, it's held them back and done a lot of damage. But no killing blows dealt the way of the Danes just yet. Uh -oh. This nade 
could wreak absolute havoc inside of the site. They're going to delay it for now. It's a double nade at short that can come in, but they're going to try and delay even longer with the Molotovs, shaving more and more time off the clock. Still waiting on these nades till they hear that bomb go down. This is perfect for Vitality. Yeah, this is a great show of restraint. In go the nades, Bye -bye. down goes Glaive. And Magisk will at least trade back. The cat Ooh. retake getting shut down before it can even come in. 20 seconds, this bomb still has to go down. They get into the site. They will start to plug those numbers in now. Zai Wu landing a tag, but not the killing blow that was needed. Double AWP now left in this two on four. It's a pretty grim spot to be in if you're Vitality. Astralis, they were able to walk into the stacked site and win it all. And even then, Shox is relegated to having to save this AWP and run for the hills. Oh. Dupree is hunting him down. And Shock still trying to put up a fight at Cat. He's got players on all sides. Down goes one, but there's the trade for Dupree. It's match and series point for Astralis. Oh, a really nice try for Vitality, right? Like they didn't want to flank long despite Mizuta being pop flashed towards the top of middle because when they have tried that in the past, S Tag has been holding on really well for it. Uh, so yeah, may makes sense you, where you want to stack the site, but they can't play inside of the site. They do a lot of damage with utility and even the double nade to, to get Glaive off the bomb, but all it does is stall the clock on Astralis. They just wait, they have long, they have A, they have the site and the bomb right there at their feet. So they just play patient. Device hits some banging uh, AK taps as well. Nice nade from Shocks, but Dupree's going to run right through it like he never saw it. Flash in middle, he can wait that out and then pop in through late. It's a mid to B with Glaive in the smoke. Apex yet to get smoked off. Molly to keep him off the box as well to deny that CT boost that can be a hassle, but he's gone through and he's looking to fight. Tooth to nail, tooth for Apex. Mizuta follows up, the trade is in, but it's coming at cost. B has been lost. Glaive dead in the sight. And uh, now Astralis, they go elsewhere. Yeah, but there's this guy. They call him Zai Wu. You have to whisper his name because he's that damn dangerous. He's like the Voldemort of CS. Here he is over inside of the site with the AWP. They start to creep out. There's Zai Wu with one. Device now left to go up against him. The head-to-head -head we've been waiting for and Zai Wu wins it out to put a 10th on the board for Vitality. So close yet so far. Now for Astralis. We're gonna re-examine the bank accounts and just a really well put together round here from Vitality. Plus, I look at Zaiwu's picture and I think that's a man not to be messed with. One AK, four pistols, not a pretty buy for Astralis, but might just be a B crunch round. And with only one man there, could be good for Astralis. S tag. Oh dear, got sprayed through the smoke. Shocks. Finding an advantage, the AK picked up and died out by Dupree. Already three at B for Vitality. That just has armor, so he will take that gun instead. Nice upgrade. But pff, good luck getting into B here. Everyone's falling along. Taiwu drops him again with the AK. And now up Cat the Glaive gets insta-peaked. Device with a Glock. And same story. There's no issue for Vitality. The closer for Astralis coming quite late. Could it come back to bite them is the only question. Well, very well could, Hugo. We're only four rounds from an overtime. And that's just something that, you know, you have to face as reality because the money situation for Astralis is getting dire. Have they got loss bonus at the very least and a buy here allowed if they don't want the AWP. S-Tag will struggle. And so that's a bit of a dilemma in and of itself. But tempting to buy here if you're Astralis, just get a Galil on S-Tag. You can buy the util and you can do whatever you want really at that point. We'll see, though, if they opt for that or pistols to play around the AWP. This is indeed close and not clear as Vitality. They may have come alive a little late in this game, but better late than never. Yeah, yeah Stralis, they just kind of have to admit not defeat as such, they still have a buy, but they're having to play it safe because, you know, these these kind of relentless investments where no one has money leave you very, very limited, and that's been coming back to hurt them a lot. So they take just pistols and a bit of utility. I say a bit, a load of utility. Yeah, fast cat as well for matches. The smoke is down. The bomb's outside long, and so early de uh, defaulting B just to keep up uh, a bit of an appearance on that side of the map. Aggression on Cat. 
Magis is waiting for his own dropped. That gets heard. So Magis knows not to aggress too early. He's going to wait. Could even get flash from Dupree. That could be catastrophic for Zaiwu. Here it comes. He thinks he's cleared Cat. That's not the case. Oh, dear. He turns around. He sees a flash. He goes up oh, again, but a missed shot. Magis takes him down. The punish pick from the Deagle. That's what Astralis wanted. And now they've got a gun, untraded and available, with two on B, two on A. This is Astralis' breeding grounds. They can do whatever they want. Yeah, especially with these Tech Nines. We know how valuable they are. We know the velocity almost at which they spit rounds down range. We don't really know that, but this could certainly be a way to go out. Hot flash in middle. Oh dear. Vitality, they're leaning towards this A site. They're leaning heavily, very heavily. Even Shocks oh, no, is like, yeah. guys, I'm out. I'm going. I'm coming towards A. Well, that would have been a bad move, wouldn't it, Shox? He goes back into the B site. He's not content, especially with this mysterious smoke falling in. Who threw this, Shox Isn't says, this? with the magnifying glass out, peering through it. Here comes the push. Shox has got to put oh, on a bit no. of a show, but he's fully blind. And this B site has crumbled. Vitality, uh -oh. surely they're not going to be ready for Magisk on the lurk in the back line. And this wasn't even a buy for Astralis. This was just pistols and armor. And they sit in a five on three. Vitality, it is do or die. Up against the pistols. They've scavenged some weapons. Magisk's flank given up. And the damage not quite coming in, but it all falls onto Apex. 1v4 to try and keep this going. And Device just delivers.